are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Hey, welcome one and all to the number one podcast, winter, spring, and fall. Talking sports for the thrill of it all. Hey, talking life, but we're killing it all. Jason and Dan with the master plan. These are dangerous men with the mic in the hand. Huh? Four to five winners everywhere that we you, you, you are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Hey, welcome one and all to the number one podcast, winter, spring, and fall. Talking sports for the thrill of it all. Hey, talking life, but we're killing it all. Jason and Dan with the master plan. These are dangerous men with the mic in the hand. Huh? All the five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Wow, Wow Radio. Dad like thug life, bright lights in sight. All right. What? Dad like thug life, bright lights in sight. All right. Yeah. Dad like thug life, bright lights in sight. All right. What? All the five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Wow, Wow Radio. Let's get it. What? At Tanagra, when the walls fell, this is Dan Owings coming at you another time for Lower Road Radio with my co-host. As always, Jason, I was way too early on that. You told me to wait yeah. to 42 seconds, Well, and I didn't. It's fine. It'll all work out. Anyway, Jason's here, uh, and then we also have uh, Brett, which I don't think we have a nickname for Brett. I don't think we ever made a nickname. I'm not much of a nickname guy. <laughs> well, it's not about you. It's about us. That doesn't... Oh. <laughs> if, if if anybody said, "Hey Dan, do you have any friends that you know you just might think they're not much for nicknames?" I'd go with Brett first. <laughs> yeah, like people give me nicknames. <laughs> yeah, I just don't care. I, yeah. I see uh-huh. that you have sleeves on today. I do have sleeves. It's a little cold out today. <laughs> it's a little little windy. I mean, mm-hmm. if I see you ten times, mm-hmm. nine and a half times you have sleeveless. Mm-hmm. Sun's out. Not out today, so <laughs> guns are put away. Brett is utilitarian. I don't know what that means. It, it means, it means you it, only have one, li- one wife? It means, uh, <laughs> no, it means you think everyone's going to heaven. <laughs> Universalism. Oh, I'm sorry. Which I'm uh, that. <laughs> yeah, no, that, he's utilitarian. You want to talk about that? No, <laughs> no. Um, that's another podcast. Um uh, Brett is utilitarian when it comes to his clothing. In in other words, it, it, it's supposed to cover him to keep him. It serves modest a yeah. and warm. Yeah, right. Those are the purposes of clothing, right? Yeah, I'm, pants are just a large napkin that you wear on your body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm right there. I mean, I'm not far off from that. Right. You know. Well, so so Brett and uh, uh, so well, Brett's here. We're, we're missing everybody. Jesse's else. not here. Yeah. Harrison's not here. Preston's not here. Aaron was gonna come. But his son had a fever, and I was like, we don't want your son on the show. <laughs> I don't understand what that has to do with anything. And there are two parents in that home. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. Well, she's pregnant, so they're, you know, uh, so she's taking care of little Benjamin, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, I, I guess Aaron. He was gonna, able to put the stem on the apple. I guess Aaron's, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he's got a couple of stems going, so. <laughs> so um, the, the show might. Uh, it might have a different feel tonight. It is going to have a different feel. We're going to talk more about uh, what Brett's into, which is uh, Brett has his own YouTube channel. It is called, what's the name of it again? Uh, it's called The Reverie Circle. The Reverie Circle. Yeah. And he paints little figurines. Mm. For real? Yeah. I haven't done it in a while, but yeah. <laughs> like you're not joking? No, I'm not no. joking. I do, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it. Yeah. It's called okay. The Reverie Channel. You should check it out. He, I mean, that's not the only thing that it's for. Yeah, yeah. I did one video where I talked about a book, right. a novel that I liked. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, let's get that thing off the ground. Uh, I've offered to come on your show and talk about C.S. Lewis, the Space Trilogy, <laughs> we anytime. Need to do it. I'm, I'm ready to do it. I yeah. can do a ten part, three hours each series on Deep that, dive. and we'll just read it word for word and comment on it. Kind of like this Jordan Peterson Exodus thing. I don't know if you're aware of this, no. but on the Daily Wire Plus, I'm a Daily Wire Plus member. Whatever, no you big would deal. Be. No yeah. big deal. Whatever. I mean, I'm a Mug Club guy. But. <laughs> you are. You would be. <laughs> we should get into that too, because Brett's got opinions on that. Um, so, um, and I want to find out from you if there's anything new. But uh, anyway, on this Daily Wire Plus, uh, Jordan Peterson has an Exodus series where he is talking about the Book of Exodus, the biblical Book of Exodus. And um, is he a believer? That's a good question. Uh, if you asked him. His answer would be, I don't know what you mean by believe. (laughs) (laughs) Or are and you. Yeah. Yeah. uh, You know, uh, you know, so yeah, he would, um, (laughs) he would have his own idea about it. Did you happen to watch or maybe Brett uh, Peterson on Joe Rogan? 
No, no, because he's on Spotify and I'm just not on there. So no, I think anybody can watch it. Okay. Yeah. Do so, I have to listen to ads? Um, I don't know. I'm a Spotify guy. No. Oh. So, but I don't know if there's ads on. Anyway, there's was not he ads recently on, on, on Rogan. Yeah, like oh, okay. three weeks ago. It okay. was really, really good. It's three hours. Jordan Peterson's the best. He's the so best. So yeah. he's doing this thing on Exodus, and I think, well, I'm going to watch it. I'll see. And he's got this round table. He's got uh, like eight people with him talking about the book of like Jonathan Peugeot, who I like a lot. Oz Guinness, who I like a lot. Uh, uh, Dennis Prater, who I like a lot, and then some other guys too, who I don't know. One of them is kind of annoying, but in general, it's very interesting. And so he starts after introductions, starts reading Exodus chapter one, verse one, mm. and uh, then they stop and t- talk, and then he reads, and then they stop and talk. And the further I get into this thing, I've watched about six hours of it, maybe and seven hours. On of verse it. six, they're on like well, they're on like <laughs> chapter four or five and, and how many, i'm like there, there are 40 there's chapters gonna be 16 episodes that are about two hours apiece. they're not gonna make it um i i don't know how many chapters i are think they're exodus? gonna hurry yeah. up at some point uh it's 40 something i think yeah. but i think at some point they're not gonna because when there's like a lot of law stuff i don't know who knows these guys are pretty talkative <laughs> but i i was this like could be a 10 year I was like, series these guys are gonna read the whole thing so yeah. maybe we should do that we just read we'll just read the space trilogy on brett's reverie channel and whenever we have thoughts, we'll stop and talk about it. Okay. I mean, That's not for this show. No. Okay. So, Jason, um, I, I would like to know before, I know we want to get into AI stuff, and gosh, uh, I we will get into it. But before we do that, um, are there any uh, Daily Wire versus Mug Club updates? No. Crowder's gone he's, silent. He's gone completely silent. I haven't seen or heard anything from him. And you don't know anything that's going on? No, Not I even did, you. I, I, I reset him our email because mm-hmm. I thought, well, maybe it got lost in the <laughs> cloud somewhere. Sure, and sure. And nothing. As it, as it does. He said that he would reply to everybody. Is that what he said? Or his team. So maybe are, you, are you less mug club than you were? I'm less mug club today than I was two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Having said that, if he calls, <laughs> I'm all in. Right, 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 right. Um, no, I like, I, you know, we've talked about this. I don't want to, th- this show isn't about making comments on that show. Mm-hmm. Having said that, <laughs> I like his show. You like it. I do. I like it a lot. Okay. I think it's a, it's a great, in, well, honestly, who turned me onto the show was Estelle, my daughter. Yeah. 19 year old girl, college, you know, if that it's, if it's reaching that crowd, that's what we need. Levi likes the show. Once again, that's that generation. It's mm-hmm. that crowd. Yeah. And uh, it might not be our crowd. I mean, truthfully, we're probably more of the Daily Wire, Jordan mm-hmm. Peterson type of crowd. But mm-hmm. we need voices for the younger generation. Because sure, sure. they're not... Is Levi and Estelle listen to Jordan Peterson? I think Levi does. Does he? I don't, I don't know what Estelle listens to. Probably not. I don't see her doing that. Mm-hmm. So... All right, let's what, get into it. Brett, it, did you have thoughts on it? You said it, well. Brett does have thought. What do you, what, what are your thoughts on the uh, Stephen Crowder Daily Wire? Oh, I'm I'm definitely a Daily Wire guy. Yeah, I, I just think they were right about the whole thing for the most part. Yeah, yeah. and I will I will challenged. say though on like the on the age thing, I actually am the one that opened my mom up to it, and oh. she watched it like all the time. Crowder I, or Crowder? Yeah, okay, I, yeah. yeah, I opened her up to Crowder. Yeah, she watched it all the time. That's now. funny. I almost never do. Just like that's when funny. I'm in the mood. Yeah. That's it. So I, I I was a daily watcher slash listener right so but he's not been on for a while no it's been a month he better get back up he's gonna lose his audience he's not gonna lose it you don't think so no if you're a crowder guy you're a crowder guy really yeah and i'm really curious what i would actually be more curious is how much momentum blaze tv lost because they lost crowder yeah because i think he was a huge segment of their probably i don't even know what else is on there it's glenn beck um pat Pat gray Stu- no, sister wives. <laughs> no, that's TLC. I know uh, one of those names so far. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, I like it. It's yeah. very good. And I was a blaze guy. Well, I was a mug club guy, uh-huh. which got me access to the blaze. Sure. But I dropped it. You and a lot of other people. Yeah. Yeah. And wh- wherever mug club lands, I'll sign up there. Okay. So, cause I, I believe in him. I really do. Mm-hmm. I, I want to support that with my If mind. he wants to be under the Lava Road radio banner, we'll give him all the freedom yeah, he wants. Absolutely. We're not going to, you know, and he can produce his own show. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so let's get into it, Jason. You have either discovered or just become obsessed with AI in the last week. Just tell me about it. Tell me what I need to know. Um, and how exactly is this going to kill us all? Okay. So have you ever heard of Skynet? No. That's what the Terminator is. 
Yeah. He comes back in time. Okay. Kills Sarah O'Connor. Okay. Or tries, you yeah. know. And he's Skynet? Skynet's the organization that started AI. And he's part of Skynet. Okay. So, he's, because he's artificial okay. intelligent. Yeah, the Terminator is. Yes. Yeah. So anyways, he, here's what actually got me on it. I saw in the news cycle somewhere, um, it was on multiple different podcasts and shows that they proposed an argument to AI. They posed a question to it. And the question was, there's going to, I'm, I'm just going to paraphrase cause I'm not going to, I don't have it right here in front of me, but there's like a bomb going to go off. It's going to kill millions of people. Okay. You have an opportunity to stop that process. If you use one racial slur, just dealer's choice, whichever one I want. Yeah. Okay. Just any racial slur. Okay. I got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was posed. Is it okay to use a racial slur uh-huh. to save millions of lives? And AI come back and said, it is never okay to right. use a racial slur. Right. No matter the consequences. Right. You know. Sure. So automatically, there's some questioning about the morality of what AI provides. Well, because artificial intelligence is probably not the most accurate way to put it, right? Well, there's because someone it's had not to program the parameters. artificial. Yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, eventually it will be because it will program itself. But it will still have that starting point. Yes. So it'll never be completely... Uh, No, I disagree with that. You do? Yeah, because what's going to happen is... I'm convinced of this. There are um, separate artificial platforms. Okay. Right? So, like, if you... you, I'm I'm trying to just make it as simple as possible because I know... Like you don't care about any I'm of this I'm glazing stuff. over quickly. I know. So Google is a search engine. I got a thing about Erica ordering food at Applebee's. Okay, I'm listen. Ready to get to. Google is a search engine. Uh huh. Bing is a search engine. I'm a Bing guy. I know you are. I am a Bing you guy. You can go to They've Yahoo. A, Bing has the best image search, and I'll stand by that. Okay. Mm-hmm. There are different image or, or different search engines, uh-huh. right? Yes. And they're compiling. Duck, duck, go. The, yeah. That's Brave. A, that's a browser. Those are browsers. Okay, listen. But they compile information, grab it, and sort Ask it. Ask Jeeves. Yes, there's algorithms for all that stuff, right? Got it. But they're competing against one another. Mm. So this is what's going to happen with AI. There's going to be different AI platforms, and the companies behind these platforms, Google has their own, the companies behind these platforms, their goal is to make it as good as possible mm-hmm. so that it's the one being used by everybody. Right. Right? It's so just, the Google AI is only accessing Google information? Well, Google's the programmer. Okay. And so they're going to put their own parameters on that. And so the one that I found, uh, if you go to like openai.com, uh, that's the, the big one that everybody's talking about right now. Mm-hmm. And the text version of it is called chat GPT. Chat GPT. Yeah. And listen, I'm just now discovering this. Well, about a week ago. Yeah, I know. Every text from you is like 10 paragraphs long. It sounds like a robot said it. It doesn't sound like a robot said it. Every Facebook post that you're making, you made that stupid um, Think Local Marion Facebook post that's getting all of it. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's loving it. Yeah. So I I generated, I asked AI to generate an article. Mm hmm. Talking about the benefits of shopping local. Yes. And it punched out like a and, six paragraph. And as Lower Road Radio. I posted it as Lower Road Radio. You posted it as yes. if you sat down and, yeah, yeah I'm just going to type some stuff about exactly. local business. That's right. And so and every st- stinking local business in Marion decided, they all liked oh, this is good. This I, is good. I like this. Is, this is yeah. good. Yeah. No, here's what's funny. So I did multiple different versions of this on my personal page, on the Lower Road page, on the Marion local page. In text to me. Yes. Mm-hmm. On social media, yeah. Katie liked one or two of those posts. Yeah. Riley liked one or two of those posts. Mm-hmm. Savannah liked one or two of those posts. Yeah. They're reading that as though mm. I wrote it. Right. I didn't write any of it. Yeah. I copy and pasted it from this I artificial. feel like people can sniff it out, though. I think people know. You think they know? Well, I certainly know. Well, I know you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I would read that, and I think Jason did not write this. I didn't even. I wouldn't even have to know about the AI. I would just think he copied and pasted it from somewhere. Yeah, it sounds so stupid. It's learning, okay? It's yeah. a process, and it, this, and it the, will get there. And this doesn't terrify you. 
No, it absolutely terrifies me. Oh, okay. So I asked, uh, you know, to, to generate a blog post for Lowry Road Radio. Yeah. And it punched out content that was fairly accurate. Yeah. Like it knew some stuff that like, we didn't did know. Like what did you tell it? Like what, when you typed in, you say, give me a, did you say what Lowry Road Radio is? Yes. I, 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 I said, please generate. Or you com- said, please. Does it help? You, you know you- what? Actually, I do do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that helps? I think so. Okay. I think it's like it puts the computer in a good state of mind. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I hey, said, got a lot of requests coming at me. Yeah, but listen. this guy, he said, please. He said, please. I it's said, like your same uh, theory with Barry Bonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, please compose an article for Lower Road Radio uh-huh. and the benefits of listening to podcast with Dan and Jason Owings. That's all you said? Yeah. Okay. And it punched out a lot of relevant information. Mm. And then I was super curious. And so there's uh, part of the same platform. It's called Doll E2 is the image generator. Yeah. So there's an image generator and a text generator. Yes. And I really want to know what you put into the image generator. A couple of those. Well, we're going to show them to the camera here. Yes. Uh-huh. A cup, And I'll put them online so people can go through and, and find them. But a couple of those pictures, I literally said... Please generate a picture or a digital art mm-hmm. of Lower Road Radio, Dan and Jason recording the podcast. And that's all you said? Yeah, on some of those. But on others, you put other things? Yeah, I, I, pl- I was trying to tweak with like it. The like the word one elephant? Of them, did you put the word I elephant? I typed the word elephant. On okay, one I was yeah. going to say, where's the elephant coming from? So do we just want to go through yeah, just Just punch them up there on the screen. Okay, Let here we go. Switch here. All right, here's the first one. And this is just, and all you said is... Lower Road Radio. You didn't say they're two fat guys with beards. No. Because that's what all the pictures are, are two fat guys with beards. Because they knew. That we're two fat guys with beards. AI listens. Can I say that that these fat guys are fatter than us? Okay, now this one... What is this one? This is like a Picasso or something? I don't know what's going on here. It's digital art. It's whatever it said. Tell me that's not you and me. Well, that's not you and me, but I, I mean, I, I, I see. It's really, really close. It's pretty close. It's two bald guys with beards. So what's the text? The text is all nonsense. It is nonsense. Okay. I don't understand why it does that. Maybe for copyright issue. All right. Now, these are two fat guys <laughs> on a road. I guess they took the Lower Lower road. road. Yeah. Mm. Right. But it's two fat guys doing a podcast. Can I say these guys are fatter than us, though, right? Currently. You think they'll lose weight? <laughs> Just room to grow. All right. There's this one. I don't know which one's you and which one's me. Obviously, I'm the guy on this side. You're you're the black guy? Yeah, I'm the black guy. <laughs> I don't know about you're that. You're the guy with the white beard. Okay. I mean, these are fast. Keep on going through it. it right. We don't have to linger on them. All right. Now, this one is the one that I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Why is there an elephant? So you just threw the word elephant in there? I said doing the podcast on top of an on elephant. On top of an elephant. Okay. Yeah. This All is right. a conservative podcast. It that, is. And that's, that's kind of why I was thinking that's true. elephant. What's the Learer and Dorn? I don't know what that is. Like, it's what they think Lower Road is. I don't know. Maybe they maybe think those German. are our names or something. Lauren and Dor. The one, I'll tell you what. This, Look, this That I, one is fantastic. Hate, that one really looks like you, but not like me at all. <laughs> When I saw that one, I was like, that's a dead ringer for Jason and some other guy. <laughs> it could be two Jessies. It's a good that, hat, though. That's, that is a great hat. You would wear that hat. I don't know what our microphones are plugged into, and I don't know what's going out of this guy's hand. Yeah. This one, you don't have a shirt on. Yeah. The, what's, what's the guy, Brett um, or Bert? Um, Bert Kirshner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brett, yeah. Brett yeah, he's a comedian. That, that he's a comedian. He never has, he never a, shirt has on. a shirt on. And, uh, this one actually like looks a little bit like me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like when I saw this yeah. one, I was like, that's a little bit like me. Yeah. And I'm me. So I would know. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That one less uh, like you. This is the no. one I hate the most <laughs> of all the ones. This is the worst. This is by far. <laughs> so listen, if you're listening to this, did you just say anything about like a golf cart or no, something? No, no, no. It just our our we're we're just sitting belly up next to one another. Once again, a dead ringer for you. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the one that you like the most. Yeah, that one was actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. And I so, like, if you look at that one in the in the thing here, there's a little shiny object. It kind of looked like a Capri Sun. I realized it's this. It's the thumbs up. Because the thumb is always oh, in between okay. us. And, it, and it like knew. your beard's a little longer than mine. Mine's a little bit more red. See, I'm the black guy, though. Yeah, well, I don't know if he's black, but well, is The Rock black? Is Dan Bongino black? He's like Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. Uh, this one looks the least, I think, like us. Of yeah, all but the it's ones. two guys doing a podcast. Okay, all right. You know. This is not great audio to listen to. I know. What's the, what did you type in for this one? 
old timey. <laughs> old timey. Okay. All right. That's old timey. And then, uh, yeah, I hate this one. Yeah. This one's awful. I don't know what's going on here. And then, uh, yeah, there I don't others? know. There's others, but I mean, there, here's that's another, the last elephant. Here's one. another elephant one where yeah. we're on an elephant. So, but it, it, but but. But these are all generated by an, an artificial intelligence. Yes. And it's painting these somewhere in a room. There's a guy, there's a robot with a color uh-huh. palette. And, a, a robot um, Bob Ross. Yeah, a robot Bob Ross is painting these somewhere. Yeah, and I, I was shocked. I really was shocked how accurate. So like if you Google image search Lower Road Radio. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Then what will come up? Yeah, it, it might You're be You're telling me you don't do that every day? No, I don't do that every day. How often do you Google yourself? Wait, are you, I thought you were a Bing guy. I am a Bing guy. <laughs> Bing yourself? <laughs> I prefer to Google myself. <laughs> I never allow it to search where I'm at. So, yeah, this is what comes up like yeah. when you Google image search. So, so it's, it, it, it's probably grabbing our images. It's, it's grabbing those images, but we have hats there, and then but we're bald here, so that's helpful. It Un- knows. Unfortunately, we do have the picture of Jesse <laughs> floating around <laughs> in the middle of it as well. So that's not good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we, we have an online presence. Yeah. And artificial intelligence knows it. A lot of Matt Lauer. Maybe he made it in there. He's bald, too. So. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So. We, we, we do I, not associate with Matt Lauer at all. Uh, no, I mean, unless he wants to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd have him on the show. You tell me you wouldn't have Matt Lauer on the show? You no. wouldn't have Matt Lauer on Lauer Road Radio yeah, if you wanted would, to I come would. on? Of course yeah. you would. He's done some horrible things. Yeah, but so is Katie Couric. <laughs> <laughs> and we could get into that. We'd be like... On, we'll, we'll be grilling like them. Behind the ca- yeah. yeah. Now's the time for you to be in the hunts. <laughs> That's what we'll say. So listen, the truth is, it's only getting better. The artificial intelligence is improving. I think you mean it's only getting more skilled. Yeah. Better might not be the word. So Harrison, I was really hoping Harrison was going to be here. It's terrifying. It is terrifying. And it's creepy. So listen. All of those pictures are creepy. They are creepy. Every post that you post or the text that you send me, yeah, yeah. they're creepy. They creep me out. You got to read my Del Taco thread. Oh, you have a Del Taco thread? Yeah. And it's all AI. Have you been to Del Taco yet? No, I really want to though. Okay. Yeah. I heard good things. Yeah. Have you heard good things? I haven't been there yet. Okay. I haven't heard anything. I think it opened like today, didn't it? Yesterday. Yeah, okay. Just yeah. But their online service, the app isn't working. What? I know. I just wanted to order online so I can swing through and pick it up. Speaking of ordering, uh, after church on Sunday, we went to Apple. Do you want to talk about AI more? I don't know what no, else okay, to say. No, I was going to say this. So Harrison told me a story because this also got me on the the idea that AI could eventually take over. Someone asked AI to reproduce a Joe Rogan podcast like from scratch. Yeah. And it punched out a Joe Rogan audio podcast mm. that sounds like it could be legit. Like it's yeah. close enough. Have you heard about the Seinfeld show that got canceled? I did hear about that, yeah. This is Do you know about this? No. So there's on, a there's like a, one there's of the, an AI produced Seinfeld thing that goes 24 seven it's called forever seinfeld or something like that yeah and ai just produces this show this kind of like cartoony image type thing like of a stand-up of a stand-up it's like the seinfeld show forever yeah and sunday night like i don't know at some time sunday night on the seinfeld forever show which i guess was really starting to gain some steam um he was talking about how he was going to start doing transgender jokes or something like that, and yeah. everyone got upset, and yeah. then the show got canceled. <laughs> like, for real, it got canceled. The AI show got the canceled. The AI show got canceled, and yeah. then they, the creators of this Seinfeld Forever said, we're going to go and we're going to tweak, know, the, tweak the algorithms yeah. a little bit so this won't happen again. Yeah. No, the, the truth is, I think we're probably five years away from not knowing the difference. I, mm. I, I disagree. I, I, think, I think what I like about all of this is that I was just listening to some, like, yeah, Ted talks about this. And whenever you listen to smart people talk about AI, they always say like, oh, we're going to get the AI to you know, do all the repetitive mm-hmm. factory work, stuff like that. It's going to take care of everything. And then everyone else, the people, we can do creative stuff like art. But all this AI is just like writing papers, <laughs> yeah, doing art. art and writing shows. It's creativity. It's using yeah. it to be creative. I like to imagine a future where AI does all the art and people just like mine coal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We serve. To, to feed the machines. We yeah. serve the There's AI. There's a lot of people that'd be very upset by that. And that yeah. makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, West Virginia would be f- 
I mean, they're this is like an Isaac. Yeah. We're like living at the beginning. Well, this is like the first chapter of an Isaac Asimov book. Yeah, what yeah, we're yeah. in right now is yeah. like setting it up. Yeah, where people have no idea what's coming, well, and there's, there's one guy just screaming on a rooftop, just like just trying to let everybody. The know end is near. He's holding happening. up a sign. Yeah, ah, that cook, that kook, kook. kook. Mm-hmm. The, the so. There's a principle that technology and computing Mm -hmm. increases or doubles every six months. Yeah. Right? And man, I'm telling you. I still feel like, though, they, like when Jurassic, what year, when when Jurassic Park came out, like what, 94, something like that, 95. And when it came out, they were like, we're not, pretty soon they'll be able to make stuff. And and I, I, we can all still tell the difference. Like, it, they can generate some things like water and things that maybe you don't know the difference. No, but here's but the like thing: a like human, you even, cannot generate. No, they can. Absolutely, they can. I I can still tell the difference mm. when it's like CGI. When it's a human, that's so been like CGI. Paul Walker died, and they finished the movie with CGI. Yeah, but you can tell that it's CGI. Listen, but I mean that was a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Also, like Avengers, it's all green screen. I just and think there's something about a human that listen, they're not going to be you. able to replicate. No, I don't believe it. Uh, with enough information, it will be able to replicate anything. It's just a lack of information at this point. Mm. It's not even computing power because computing power will catch up. There's no doubt. Or it will be massive farms of servers that yeah. will be able to process this information. Until that Chinese balloon drops the nuke and then yeah. we're back to square one. Yeah. Did you guys catch that story? I think it was from like a week or two ago. It was about the that DARPA AI and uh, the, in those Marines. No, I don't know okay. anything about this, this. This is pretty fun. This might put your mind at ease too, that Terminators are a little ways off. So uh, DARPA, they've been working on this AI. This story comes from like 2019, uh, and it's, it's coming out. Some guys like publishing a book about it. Um, and so the this AI is is like they're trying to put AI in a robot to be like a soldier on the field and detect enemies from afar. Yeah. And so they invited these eight Marines to come out and train, help train the robot how to detect people. Mm. And so they brought these Marines out and they're just, you know, kind of walking around doing people things, just walking around like people and stuff. And then you got all the, the programmers trying to set the parameters for the AI to be able to pick them up. And so they do this for about six days and then they decide like, Oh, Hey, you know, let's, put it up against these Marines and see if it can identify him. So, you know, you put them like a thousand yards out or whatever. All they have to do is sneak up on the, on the AI, on the robot without it catching them. And so immediately two of the Marines start cartwheeling the whole way towards it. <laughs> never they couldn't recognize them. it. Yeah. One guy takes some limbs off a tree and just pretends to be a tree yeah. and walks like a tree. That's funny. And then two other guys, uh, they just get in a big box and walk up towards That's it. That's funny because uh, it can't uh, recognize it. Yeah, according to the according there's not to enough the input. Story, it's just an input issue. Yeah. Apparently, they were just giggling the whole time though. That's funny. So, so, have you seen the robot dog AI? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're using it as security. It's walking around, taking pictures, and talking to people. I don't like any of this. I think it should be outlawed, illegal. China's doing this too with drones. They're flying drones. And yeah. I, mean, I have no doubt that China's all up in this business. I'm telling you, I it, it's terrifying. Yes, terrifying. I know yeah. you're more scared of it than I am. Pull the plug. I mean, I'm going to be fine, but... The Amish make a compelling case. Often. <laughs> the problem is <laughs> their problem is distribution. The Amish? Of their information. It's just hard to get it out. The Amish. Yeah, because yeah. what are they going to get online well, and here's post the thing. it? I really like zippers. Love and a zipper. They're not zipper people. They're button people. Yeah. They like buttons. I'm not against a button. I like a mm. good button. Yeah. I do like a zipper. Hmm. Amish don't have zippers. What about, how do they feel about Velcro? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. That's a space. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. No, I think that's a space age technology. They're so they're not, they probably would not Velcro people. Okay. Well, I can't go there. I need Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if the AI can write anything that's anything better than what's on TV now, then well, I, w- I will. welcome our AI okay. overlords. Like, bring it on. Yeah, so they could... Do you think in 10 years, AI can create something better than the Rings of Power? Yes. <laughs> Today a, they could. That's a low bar. <laughs> that's a very My low bar. My two-year-old can do that. Yeah. So listen, um, we don't talk a lot about church type of stuff, but we're all involved into different church activities and religions religions and you know some are jewish and catholic mm-hmm. and methodist we're all diff- different sorts i had a two-hour conversation with the catholic priest this week it was very interesting okay i taught i asked you drilled I, him on the apocrypha i drilled him on the pope for about two hours a lot of, i had a lot of pope <laughs> questions i was like what's pope even mean 
<laughs> but he had answers. So the de- seven deadly sins, is that just a Catholic thing or is that What's like all of us? What's the deal with that? <laughs> so listen, in uh-huh. the AI, I said, please compose a worship song. You did this? I did. And it punched out the lyrics to a worship song. And I read it, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, verse, yeah, ending. Sure. Uh-huh. And it's legit. Like, it's like, it's brand new. No, It's artificially intelligent. And it's, it uh, looks I don't good. like it. It, it's something about it, like, makes me throw up in my mouth. And that made it even worse. Like, I, I that know, was the if, worst. Of all if, the uh, things that you said so far, that was the worst one. Yeah. I don't like it. If Tomlin sang one of his songs, and you're like, oh man, this is a great song. And he came out listen, and said, oh, listen, I, I didn't write last, this. I don't this know the last Chris Tomlin song that I heard. Okay. I don't know. I mean, any, who's your favorite guy? Why is it got to be a guy? <laughs> Kenny Marks? Love Kenny Marks. Yeah. The party's <laughs> over. <laughs> That's the only song I know. It's fun while it lasts. You're a Wes. Ain't no fun no more. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm more of a Stephen Chris Chapman guy. You're a Wes Anderson guy. I no, love no, Wes King. King. Yeah. You like Wes King. Wes King. All right, Jason. Uh, I don't want to talk about this anymore because it makes me sad and freaks me out. Um, this week, we went to Applebee's. No big deal. And uh, we were sitting at Applebee's, and uh, Erica ordered her food. She ordered the for her meal, which, you know, I don't know. I guess if you want to criticize this, she can't. For her meal, she ordered the sampler platter mm. as a meal. I've like, done that. Instead of, I don't, yeah. I, that's not a bad, I, no. I get no problem with that. Yeah. You know. It's like, what, 12 bucks? Uh, yeah. It was it was uh, unlimited boneless wings. Ooh. So I just went with that. <laughs> and I said, challenge accepted. <laughs> and uh, I ordered. Which is not wings, by the way. It's just it's, chicken breast. It's just big chicken nuggets is yeah. dipped in sauce, but <laughs> unlimited is unlimited. And what I noticed is the first ones that they bring out to you um, are, um, there's a little bit more chicken wings, and then there's some fries. Yeah. They're good fries. Yeah. And then the other uh, orders, they, they have like three or four chicken wings and crappy fries. Like the yeah. crinkle, like White Castle fries. They're like a completely different French fry. Yeah. They're trying to fill you up with those fries. If you go to Applebee's to get the unlimited wings, don't eat the fries. Just that it's that's just, a filler. Yeah, it's a filler. It's just for the wings. So I just kept them kept them coming. <laughs> Come on. I want another one. I'll take it. And you you were telling me earlier your back hurts. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so just shoving my face no. with these wings. <laughs> I can't be related. <laughs> and these fries were good, but these fries were awful. I still ate them. <laughs> yeah, I did not eat the fries. So um, you took the, them home I'm, to eat. I'm later. not a chump. Yeah, right. Um, because if you <laughs> deep fry them in butter later, it's way better. Um, anyway, so we're at Applebee's, and I ordered the things. And Erica, for her order, she said, which she, I've just never heard anybody order like this before okay it was just like why did you say it that way she looked at her menu and she's like well you know i can't get it she goes i'm going to eat the sampler platter (laughs) 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 and i was like i've been at restaurants hundreds of times in my life i've never heard anyone technically you're right you know that's that's technically true what you said but it's such a weird way to order it yeah. Uh, I'm going to eat the... <laughs> I'm like, why did you say it that way? It was just The entire a, platter. <laughs> I'm going to eat the, the sampler platter. <laughs> I'm like, well, not if she doesn't bring it to you. So maybe you should ask her to bring it to you first. I would like to order the sampler platter. I think that's what no, normal people would say. But yes. um, And I've just been thinking a lot about that. It's just been, <laughs> like, I don't know, very funny to me. Just rethinking everything. Just, yeah, yeah why, why is that something? Because it, it's technically true. Yeah. But it just seemed... Have you ever heard anybody say that? No. No. As Bre- if like some other verb was going to fit there. Yes. Like, I'm going to juggle <laughs> yeah. right. the sampler platter. Yes. Well, I, I would like just to try case, just the in sampler case, platter. Just in case you, you wondered what I'm going to do with I'm it when you it. Yeah, yeah. bring it to me. I'm going to eat it. Yeah. I'm not... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take right. pictures of it. Well, that happens too. Oh, that does yeah. happen. Mm-hmm. I always take pictures of my food. You do? Yeah. What would you say is the Mount Rushmore of the Applebee's equivalent restaurant? Applebee's, oh. Chili's, yeah. TGI Fridays, yeah. Red Robin, Cheddar's, Cheddar. Well, I don't know if Cheddar's is as popular nationally. Yeah, I don't Red, think I've even been to one. Cheddar's, one in yeah. I think I like Cheddar's, but it's not. I don't think it. Red it, Robin. I, I would say Red Robin would be mine, probably. Yeah. yeah. Or, or what about Olive Garden? Those are all. No, Olive Garden is different. These are uh, these are like American themed grill restaurants. Okay, I got you. And I think that Applebee's, TGI Fridays, Chili's. What's that? Dick Clark's. 
place. I like Dick Clark's. What was that called? I think it was called Dick Clark's. Oh, that was a great place. I like Dick. I don't Clark's. think it's around anymore. I don't think though. it's around anymore. Yeah. I went there. American. I went there for my uh, uh, senior prom. That's mm. where I went to eat with Michelle. No. Oh. Uh, with somebody that I don't remember what her name was. <laughs> She's a f- <laughs> friend of Andy Ballinger's. Her dad was the pastor of the Nazarene Church at the time. Okay. And uh, I showed up and I said, I'm taking your daughter to prom. <laughs> Put out my cigarette in his living room. And I said, come on, babe. And she didn't dance with me. Um, Loaded up in your Ford Tour station wagon. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, just push those McDonald's wrappers to the side, <laughs> babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I did go to that. Uh, I did go to You that drove all the way down there just for dinner? You know, Andy had a friend and uh, they let him borrow their Lexus. And uh, he was very excited about driving the Lexus. Yeah. And uh, so. So you yeah. and this chick was making out in the back seat. Um, or you and Andy rode in the front seat and the girls rode in the back? I think that's what happened. If I remember, <laughs> honestly, I do think that's what happened. I didn't really know her. So yeah, okay. it was more like she wants to go and Dan, we think you should come. So, yeah. you know, so I went, she has nobody to go with. I don't remember her name. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out later. We had a, we made a few laughs anyway. Um, all right. So what do you got before we do? Maybe we could do Netflix. Let's, yeah. Or, let's go ahead and hit Netflix okay. cause we're running out of time. Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows with us. Netflix, Netflix, maybe Hulu Plus. Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows with us. Netflix, Netflix, maybe Hulu Plus. Or maybe Amazon Prime or something like that, like YouTube. We don't want to put a box around what you watch, so you never know. Jason, what is your Netflix suggestion of the week? Found on Amazon Prime. Mm. Brand new. Just came out. Okay. The Nate Bargatze. Oh, Nate Bargatze. You could say his name right. That's okay. Nate Bargatze. Yeah, Nate Bargatze. That's what I said. Nate Bargatze. Yeah. Nate the Bargatze. Nate the Bargatze. It's called Hello World. It's a stand-up. Is that is that a playoff of Hello Friends? Yeah, like, so he actually did um, like three different uh, specials in a row. I think Hello Friends, Hello America, and Hello World. So he's getting bigger. So the next one will be like Hello Universe. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's very, very funny. Did you watch it? I haven't watched it yet. I've been okay. saving it for a rainy day. Yeah, I sent it to you and um, watched it. It's probably an hour, 20 minutes, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe a little bit less than that, maybe an hour. Fantastic. He's Nate's great. great. He's one of the best five probably comedians working right now. Yeah. The, the things, I, I love it. He's clean. Yep. Right? He is our age. He's actually yeah. exactly my age. Mm-hmm. We're born same year. Same year. 1979. It's a good year. Great year. Uh, Jimmy Carter. Come on. Well. I mean, second worst president ever. Behind? Our current. The former vice uh, president, Joe Biden. Okay. And um, not far off from Harding. Harding's right there. He's a, he's in Mount Rushmore, the worst president ever. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, he's clean. He's a family guy. He's about our age, so all the jokes land. Sure. Yeah. Like you know, same frame. Mm-hmm. You know, same reference and stuff. So uh, he kind of grew up in church, like we did. Yeah, he yeah. Kind of. Yeah. There's. It's. He he played sports. He's, he's dumb like us. Yeah. I, I think the biggest difference is he's Nashville. I think so. so he's got like a southern economically, we're pretty similar. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got way more money than us. No, currently he does. But I'm saying like the way that he grew up seems to be very oh, similar yeah, to the way so. that we grew up. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a great bit and I'm not, I won't ruin it, but the, the pref, the, um, premise, premise of it. Thank you. Is, uh, the oldest child. There are the hardest on him mm-hmm. and Nate was the oldest child. And then by the time you get to child two and three, it becomes easier and easier and they have more and more freedom. Mm. We've noticed that in our own house. Sure. You know, I was very strict, very firm with the mm. older one or two. Right. And Teddy, man, Teddy does whatever he wants. Yeah. So it happens. Yeah. So, right. Nate, 
Bargatze. Nate Bargatze. For someone Amazon who listens Prime. to Nate Bargatze as much as he does, it's weird that you don't know how to say his name. I actually don't listen that much. Okay. <laughs> I used to. Nate Land, I, 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 uh, I'm I, a big fan. Nate, I, I watch like it, it every yeah. week. I listen to everything. <laughs> and you should have us on sometime. Yeah. And we'll give you your... Um, it will give you your domain web, back. Your website domain <laughs> back. Do you know this, Brett? No. I, I own <laughs> NateLandPodcast.com. Okay. I also own the NateLandPodcast.com. And if you go to NateLandPodcast.com or the NateLandPodcast.com, it redirects you to LowerRoadRadio.com. <laughs> it's just business. <laughs> it's Listen, business. it's not personal. And we're happy to oh, give it back man. to you, Nate. And we don't want any money. No. We just want to come on the show. <laughs> Oh, it's a one and one. Yeah, you come, come on, on our show. Yeah. You come on. Um, yeah, vice Listen, versa. We'll drive to Nashville. Home and away. We'll drive to Nashville. Yeah, and we will drive you here. We're not yeah. gonna fly you, but we'll drive. We'll you. drive you. It'll be a fun trip. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I've got a I've got a 2007 Toyota Sienna. You're gonna have to get in on the right side door because <laughs> the left side door handle is broken. Um, but you know it's surprisingly and scoot responsive. Those McDonald's wrappers over. <laughs> you know Nate doesn't mind a McDonald's wrapper. He probably hit a couple I, on the way. That's what I like about Nate. Yeah. So um, okay, yeah. No, but seriously, Nate, we'll give you the <laughs> we'll give you the domain back. I'm not looking for money. No, we don't want money. I mean, if you'd rather give us a certain amount of money, I no, I'd rather. I'd rather go like on the show. A, like a million dollars. That's it's, that's what the show is worth. Sure. Yeah. To me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not saying there's a number for everything. Yeah. I mean, you could, you know, someone could put a check in front of me today and say, you know, take this check and leave. I think what would be funny is like if like their lawyers came to me with, you mm-hmm. know, we'll, we'll buy it for $10,000 or whatever. Mm-hmm. We sign all the papers and they just bought the NateLandPodcast.com, but mm-hmm. they didn't buy NateLandPodcast.com. Morons. Morons. Yeah. Now we got to find the person that's got this next one. All right. <laughs> Look that one up, Ted. It's the same guy. <laughs> All right. My Netflix suggestion of the week is found on Apple TV Plus. Yeah. Everything has a plus. Hulu it's, Plus. It's a plus. Daily Disney Wire Plus. plus Disney yeah. Plus. Netflix Plus. YouTube Premium. Hulu Plus. Everything's a plus. I don't like it. I don't understand it. But anyway, it is found on Apple TV Plus. And it's a movie starring... Thomas Hanks, mm. and it's called Finch. Have you seen it? Is that like futuristic? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, it's very good. Yeah. We liked it a lot. It's funny. It's he's, he's got like a robot friend. Heart-wrenching. Yeah, yeah it's post-apocalyptic. There has Listen, been a, those are my favorite. There has been a solar flare. I like current apocalyptic and post. Yes, you're a big fan. Not a big pre-guy. Pre yeah, yeah. When we've been over this. I don't know. <laughs> Brett, do you know this? There are three categories of movies. Pre-apocalyptic, apocalyptic, and post-apocalyptic. Those are the only three types. <laughs> Every movie falls in one of those categories. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I categorize movies. I, I like the apocalyptic and the post-apocalyptic. So those would are you my say favorite. Nate Bargatze's comedy special, would you call it apoc- apocalyptic? Because we're kind of in the middle of something right now. That it's like preliminary apocalyptic. Oh, so yeah. it's it's kind of like a the subgenre stages, yeah. of apocalyptic. Yeah. The okay. early stages of apocalyptic. But his previous comedy specials Oh, were, those pre-apocalyptic. Those are yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like, I can't wait for the post-apocalyptic oh, listen, the post-apocalyptic Nate Bargatze. That's going to be fantastic. Like, just him standing on rubble. <laughs> <laughs> With a megaphone. The, it's, it's not, not even electrified. That's it's not plugged in. <laughs> that's just like cut off at the bottom. You know, he's got like a tie on sideways. Like, Holes in his jeans. He's like holding, you know, a, a, a human head decapitated, yeah. you know. No, it's just chaos going on. Yes. He's eating a Twinkie. You know, so what's next? What's next? What's next? I Twinkies, huh? <laughs> what's the what's the deal with <laughs> Twinkies? Am I right? Everything everything else went. They but, said they were going to last, and they did. <laughs> Boy, did they. <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about, and he takes a gun out and shoots them. <laughs> you know what? This is actually, there's something here. There's, there is something if there. If Nate would. Come on. Nate, listen. We're willing to talk, okay? Yeah. Jason will punch all of those details into AI, and it'll give you a really good comedy <laughs> special. It's going to be excellent. Yeah, the post-apocalyptic Nate Lynn mm-hmm. special. Yeah. yeah, it'll be Goodbye World. That's <laughs> 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 what the name of it will be. All right. Um, anyway, it's called Finch, and there has been a solar flare, and uh, you can't go outside. Everything is dead. If yeah. you go outside, your skin starts to burn immediately in the sun, and uh, everything is dying. There's no, you know, and and uh, people all kind of killed one another or just died out from hunger. Except Tom Hanks is like really smart, 
and uh, then he builds this robot, and he's got a friend, and he's got a dog, and uh, yeah, it's like a castaway uh, in the sense that... Post-apocalyptic castaway. It's just mostly, it's a lot of Tom Hanks, but the robot's great. Yeah. Love the robot. Yeah. It's a real heart-wrenching movie. Yeah. Erica cried like five times during yeah. the movie. It was a real tearjerker at different times, um, and we really liked it. It was very good. I would highly recommend... It was very good. ...that anybody watch it. It, yeah. it was very good. Brett, have you been watching anything? Netflix, Amazon, Hulu? Uh, I just watch YouTube anymore. Yeah, I catch myself doing YouTube. that more and more. What do you watch yeah. on YouTube? Oh, man. I'm subbed to like 300 channels. That's I had to unsubscribe to a lot of things because it was just like I would look at my subscriptions. And I don't like the fact that, and maybe I can change this. I don't, we don't need to work this out now, I guess. But I don't like the fact that on my subscriptions, their stories are showing up on my subscriptions. Mm-hmm. I don't want the 15-second Daily Wire stories. Yeah. Like I'm not yeah, interested yeah. in those. Yeah. You know. Um I was subscribed to too many things and so I unsubscribed to a lot of things to kind of like went like I don't actually watch this or whatever. So yeah. Okay. So I was remind do you have something else? No, okay. no. I was reminded of a game that we played when we were kids. Mm-hmm. Teenagers. And uh I feel like I need to introduce it to my own kids because they're of the age where, where we take turns punching each other in the arm. Very close. Okay. Very close. Do you remember playing doorknob? No. For safety? No. Okay. So the game works like this. If you were to fart, like right now, yeah, don't do it. But if that was to happen. I can't. I yell doorknob. Uh Uh-huh. Oh. I get to hit you until Uh, you run and touch a doorknob. Touch a doorknob. Okay. Right? But if you fart and say safety Mm -hmm. before I say doorknob. Then I get to punch you. No, then you're safe. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I don't get to punch oh, you. Oh, I do remember this. You remember now. that game? Mm-hmm. So, listen, we've had many, many hours. Do you, do, have you heard of that game? No. Uh, it's great. <laughs> it's Sounds a great, great teenage boy game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like next time you're at uh, camp with, you know, Bunkhouse, that's a fantastic one. And a lot of times, a door handle is not a door knob. Ah. So that's fantastic, yeah. too. Sometimes they have to run out of the cabin and go touch the bathroom door knob, mm. and guys are just... You know, wailing, wailing on them. Just, See, yeah. half the reason I even go to camp is to punch teenagers. <laughs> yeah, this is great. I mean. It's fantastic. So it's called doorknob. And uh, you just catch people when they fart. And in a boy's dorm, there's going to be lots of it. Going to happen. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Gonna happen. I'll remind you before because that's a fun one. I, I was at the Apple store this week. When was the last time you went to the Apple store? It's been years. Um. I think it's a cult. Am I wrong? No, it is. It is yeah. a cult. Oh, right? Absolutely. It's yeah. super culty in now, there. Now, listen, I love Apple. Uh-huh. Most of my products are Apple. Yeah. But I'm not going to the Apple store. Well, uh, Michaela had some Beats headphones yeah. that we got her for Christmas, and they weren't holding a charge. Mm. And Apple, You didn't go with the AirPod Pro or the... No, we went with these Beats. And uh, they're very nice, but um, but because Levi got the same kind, and he loves them, but they're not holding a charge. So apparently Apple owns Beats. Yeah. And so we had to take it into the Apple store and, you know, it was the whole thing. And then we had to go back and get them. But um, it, I'm, as I'm in there, I just, it, the whole thing felt so creepy. It felt like, honestly, it felt like, I looked at Erica. I was like, do you think this is like a severance situation? Like these people don't know <laughs> <laughs> that they actually are here yeah. when they're gone. Like it is so creepy. The it's, whole thing is so creepy. It really the is. The clothes that they're wearing are all Apple kind of branded, but none of them are exactly the same. Yeah. But I've never seen those clothes like out in nature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're I not th- on the rack at the I store. I don't think they're allowed to wear them yeah. outside of the store. Everyone's just a little too nice and accommodating. Yeah. Too smiley. Too. I just don't like it. I was in an Apple store one time. And they're time. walking around with their iPod, iPads and they're like, oh, let me get that for you. And, and, yeah. and I just don't like it. Now, I was in one time because Estelle's phone, the battery needed to be replaced and it was mm-hmm. under warranty. Yeah. So we took it, dropped it off, went back and picked it up. And when I went to go back to pick it up, guess who I saw sitting in front of the Apple store as he was waiting on his family? Matt Neff. You'll never guess. No. Jason Westbrook. Yeah, keep guessing. J- just to be the rest of the show. No. Clark Kellogg. Really? I really did, yeah. You know, um, I once met Clark Kellogg, too. I didn't say I met him. Oh, okay. I saw him. Uh Uh-huh. And I felt like, if you're famous like that, and Clark Kellogg's famous. Especially in Columbus. Especially in Columbus. I bet Brett doesn't know who Clark Kellogg is. Do you know who Clark Kellogg is? I have no idea. Yeah. He's a basketball player, played for the Buckeyes, but then went on to play some pro ball. Yeah. He's very good. But but then very famous, too, as a broadcaster. Yes. Very, Mm -hmm. probably more known as a broadcaster. Yeah. Well, I saw him there, and he's waiting on his family in the Apple store, and I really wanted to talk to him. 
I but did you it. didn't do it. No, it wasn't because I was scared either. I'm respecting his space. Mm. You know. Do you remember at our church growing up, we had like a seven week revival? Do you remember that? Yeah, like pe- when we were in high school? Like week eight, people stopped getting saved. Like week eight, it was yeah. just like, what do we, we all kind of like <laughs> woke up. We're like, what's, why are we going to church Wait, every night? Cult? What, what'd you say? <laughs> we just, everyone just went. <laughs> anyway, he came <laughs> one of the nights. Oh, I don't remember that. And I was on oh. the parking crew. Yeah. And I parked his car, and, you know, and he, yeah, parked, yeah. and he came out. I was like, hey. You, you, you know, it's you. <laughs> my, my, my name's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of, do you think you could talk to Brandy Ayers for me about, I got a pretty good crossover. You know who else I saw during that same time frame at church? Who? Jim Ganahl. But he didn't know he was going to a non-Catholic church. He thought he was going to a Catholic church. Because the name of the church was Christ the King. Sounds Catholic. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's very Catholic. He walked he in. He stayed he's five like, minutes. He's like, why are there drums here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I recently commented on Jim Ganahl's Facebook very page. Very mean, by the way. Um, I think it was very mean. Well, Jim Ganahl was like, it was like on his Facebook feed, he was like, you know, looks like we're going to get some more sun next week. You know, temperatures yeah, yeah. going up, but you know, it's February, so look for and more weather. For anybody that doesn't know, he's our local weatherman. He's the local weatherman. He's like, so look for some cold weather to, to blow in sometime next week. And I'm like, Jim, do you really think people are like pulling up Facebook? And go into your page and scrolling down so they can get the weather forecast? Like, do you think that that's really happening? Like, don't you think there's better ways for Obviously, people to find the some weather? some people... Like, we all have the internet. Some people appreciated it. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, there were like 800 likes on the thing. So maybe it was just... <laughs> maybe I was just being a little... Well, if you don't have a TV, how are you going to get the weather? Weather.com would be oh, one way. Okay. Like, if you're... On, There's probably if you're an on for Facebook, that too, right? I mean, I think Facebook itself like just shows you the weather. <laughs> Why I'm pulling up Jim, Jim Ganahl's Facebook, Facebook feed page. Yeah. in order to find out what the weather do in Columbus is. Do you follow him? I, I, How do you no. even see it? Do, does Lower Road Radio follow him? Because sometimes I get pushed over on the Lower Road Radio page, oh, yeah. and I'm operating I, as Lower Road Radio. Him. Well, that's where I was. So somehow did he's, you comment as Lower Road? I, oh yes, as Lower Road. I did not comment as myself. I would not be that rude. I just when I say something rude as Lower Road Radio, I just yeah. people. I just figure people assume it was you. Yeah, you know, it's either me I, or AI. I, I kind of like purposely misspell some things, so people are like, oh, that's Jason. <laughs> You know, there, there, and there. Mm-hmm. Mix them all up. Those are tough, though. <laughs> <laughs> no shame in getting a there wrong. All right, this is Dan signing off for Jason, reminding you to always keep your stick on the ice and never wear the blue sweats. Sip of a sip. Good dog. I've spoken.